the advantage of learning low level system design is that you will be able to write good quality code quality code se kya hoga you will be able to build scalable and complex systems usse kya hoga you will be looked out for design suggestions usse kya hoga you will be able to build good reputation in the team and agar young level pe achhi reputation banti hai as a result of which you get faster promotions to agar rapo achhi banani hai team mein naam kamana hai to low level system design is the key to shuru kare to shuru kare design patterns going ahead the next type of pattern that we are going to learn is prototype design pattern in simple words prototype design pattern is used to create clone of objects in java let's consider a very interesting case wherein government of india asked maruti car factory to give a set of cars consisting of one brezza one wagner and one sias 6 months down the lane it wanted again a replica of this entire lot so it sent out one brezza one Bre- wagner and one sias to maruti car factory and they told create replicas of these three cars exact replicas of these three cars how maruti car factory is going to operate let's see that live in code and we will understand what is the right way to do it and what is the incorrect way to do it for the sake of simplicity i have reduced the problem statement i have taken only two cars under consideration brezza and wagner i have skipped sias for now when the first contract came to the maruti car factory it created a car list having brezza and wagner in it so it created two different instances one of brezza and another one for wagner added it to the car list and returned it to the government of india moving ahead now 6 months later another request came wherein maruti car factory had to create exact replica of the previous lots and we call it copy car list one naive developer went ahead and what he did he iterated over the car list checked what instance of car it is if it is brezza then it created a new instance of brezza added it to the car copy car list and similarly if the car instance happens to be wagner it created a new instance of wagner and added to the copy car list now we will ask me what is the problem remember from solid design principles whenever we see instance of checks it is an anti pattern if you propose a solution to the interviewer he is going to reject you up what is the way out prototype design pattern is the solution to this problem the first thing that we do as part of prototype design pattern is to create a clone interface and here i have created a public method that returns the car instance type and the name of the method is get clone it basically creates a clone of this car class that is being passed as the argument and returns a new car instance now let's try and understand the definition of our car class the car class implements two interfaces the first one is clone that we just talked about and other one is vehicle interface vehicle interface has two methods in it get engine cc and get price it represents the mandatory parameters that must be there as part of car now let's walk through the remaining definition of the car class it has a, another private variable model year we have defined the getter and setter for model year this is the setter this one is the getter and we have two constructors the first one is the default constructor and the second one is the copy constructor that is part of the car class now let's talk about the definitions of brezza and wagner classes the first one is brezza what do we do we have a default constructor brezza extends car and it invokes the super constructor of the car class i have created a logger over here as well representing how the instance is getting created if it's if it is through the default constructor or if it is through the copy constructor remember i have to override the get engine cc method and get price method i have statically defined these values for all category of brezza car the last one is the most important one which represents the method named get clone 
and it basically accepts an instance of car class and returns the new instance of Brezza class. What, which constructor will be called? Copy constructor of Brezza will be called whenever the control comes over here. A similar kind of definition also exists in the Wagner class. These parameters have been changed. Rest of the things remain the same. Except here we will be returning a new Wagner instance instead of Brezza. Now let's walk through the original statement, problem statement, wherein I have commented out this code and instead of using instances of checks, what do I do? I simply iterate over the car list and invoke car.getClone method. I pass in the car instance. GetClone method is responsible for creating the clone of the class depending upon what type it is. If it is Brezza or if it is Wagner, the control that will go on to the copy constructor will automatically take care which car instance is to be returned. Now let's try and run this up and see the code live in action. So what is being done over here? I have created a new instance of Brezza using the default constructor. Line number 10 represents this. Next is creating new instance of Wagner using default constructor. Line number 13 represents this. Moving ahead, what do I do? I simply add these two up in the car list. I have printed out the IDs of my objects over here. So Brezza has an ID of F6F4D33 and the model year that I set at line number 11 happens to be 2023. For Wagner, the ID is this and the model year is 2019. So this is the time when my first contract came from Government of India. Now, six months down the line, I got another contract to create the copies of this entire lot. What do I do? I am creating new instance of Brezza using the copy constructor. Remember, we are not using the default constructor, rather we are utilizing the copy constructor. And as you can see, I have reprinted my cloned objects again at line number 47 to 49. And this is what these print statements signify. The Brezza ID over here is different from what was stated over here. Similar is the case with Wagner. The model year remains the same. That means it has been appropriately copied from this to this particular location. And if you ask me, how is this getting taken care of? We are basically invoking car.getClone method. When the control goes over here, it will go on to the Brezza class. And if the car instance happens to be of type Brezza, then it will automatically take care to return the new instance of Brezza. Because over here, Brezza instance was the parse. And in this entire code, we don't have to write the instance of, instance of checks anywhere which makes us design foolproof, clean and robust in nature. A smarter way of implementing prototype design pattern is using clonable interface that removes the need to create new objects using the new keyword. It automatically handles object creation by itself. So let's forget this clone interface for a few minutes and let's replace it with clonable interface. What are we going to do now? We are going to explore another method in this car method, which basically is responsible for creating the car clones. And it basically accepts in a car, a car parameter. It creates a clone using the internal implementation of clone method provided by this interface and it returns the new instance. What do we do next? We simply go ahead and remove uh, these errors first, uh, skip this override method from here and here. And then we simply replace this get clone with clone. Our work is done. Looks sim so simple and easy. Let's go ahead and run this up. As you can see, two different instances of Brezza class was created. Similarly, two different instances of Wagner classes were created. I'm attaching both the code references for creating prototype design pattern and rest of the design patterns in the coding decoded GitHub repo. The link is mentioned in the description below. And I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed the, the entire session. The next session that I'm going to have would be on structural design pattern 
which will come next week very soon. Till then, goodbye, take care and guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It means a lot to me as a lot of effort goes in creating these videos. Thank you. Bye bye. Subscribe to the channel. When will you do it? When will you do it? Now do it.